me your take on the recent price action that we've been seeing. A lot of volatility. What do you make of it? Well, listen, we had a spectacular rally, right? We were around $4,000 per Bitcoin, say, two months ago. We traded up as high as 13.8. And so the last three thousand dollars that was really a parabolic move where everyone got kind of got excited and they got excited for real reasons they got excited because of facebook they got excited because of uber and mastercard and visa all saying hey we want to participate in the cryptocurrency world and so all of a sudden this went from guys like Nero Arbini saying hey this is all you know tulips to the biggest companies in the world say we're going to participate on top of Yale and Harvard and Stanford and Dallas participating. And so all of a sudden, the question around institutionalization has been answered. And now it's a question of taking you know, the time to build out the systems. And so people are rushing in. They're rushing into front-run institutional accounts. And things got a little bit carried away. And now we're in a consolidation. So we've kind of went up to 14,000, back down to 10,000. I think we're at 10.8 right now. And I think you're going to see the market consolidate between 10,000 and 14,000 for a while before it takes off the next leg higher. And the next leg higher probably comes with the, the new web institutions, the state of X, state of Wisconsin, or the Texas Municipal Teachers Union, until those guys start coming in. And then, then you'll see Bitcoin you know, go towards the old highs, 20,000 and higher. Well, when you say parabolic so if you've been following this channel, uh, I've been making the prediction that Bitcoin was going to break 20,000 uh, by the end of 2018. I was obviously wrong. We ran into a huge, huge correction, but I'm now back on the Bitcoin uh, bull. And uh, I do believe by the end of this year, we should see Bitcoin testing or getting close to that 20,000 level again, especially if we have institutional players coming into the space. Um, if you are getting this, I obviously took a long break. I haven't been posting videos for a while, but um, if you do go look at my previous videos, I stated and um, I was buying at the lows when you know Bitcoin hit 3,000, 4,000. I was continuing to dollar cost average, something I uh, had been preaching. And pretty much I, I have stated in my previous videos, you're, you guys are welcome to go through my channel where um, I said I wasn't going to sell anything unless Bitcoin w went over 10,000. And guess what? It went over 10,000. And I actually haven't sold any of my Bitcoin. Um, I am probably going to start selling some of my altcoins just because uh, I don't want to be too. I, I do feel like um, I, I invested a lot in altcoins, um, especially uh, Ethereum, which I mean, I'm still going to hold it, um, but I, I really do become. As more time progresses, I do really feel like Bitcoin is just the sa the safer bet, and um, I'm glad I did make equal amount of purchases of altcoins and bitcoins. And still, Bitcoin is my largest holding. Um, but personally, um, for now, I'm not really buying these prices. I think these prices are too high. If there is another correction where we go back down to the four thousand or three thousand range, I would consider buying. And right now, if we do have another run up in Bitcoin's price, I don't know if I'm going to sell. I think I'm, I'm really holding until we pass the 20,000 mark. But I would probably look at selling some of my altcoins um, just because uh, I'm not good at picking. I mean, I'm, I'm comfortable and I've stated in my previous videos to stay in the top 10. And I feel like if you're in the top 10, you're, you're, it's, it's a safe, safer bet. Um, I didn't buy too many coins below the top 10, top 20, which is great because it's obviously much, much more risky. But um, my advice, if you are in, interested in getting into cryptocurrency, and I've stated this so many times on my channel, stay in the top five to top 10 so you don't have crazy amount of risk. And if you look at Bitcoin's price action, um, you're going to get still great returns if you compare it to the stock market or the bond market. But um, I do believe Bitcoin will break 20,000 by the end of this year. Obviously, I've been wrong. Um, and the best thing I did was, even though I was wrong, I continued to accumulate Bitcoin and also altcoins. Uh, and I do wish that I didn't invest so heavily into altcoins. Like, I obviously stay diversified um, and I did stay in the top 10. But that's my advice. And guys, I'm going to try to pr produce more cryptocurrency content. I've just been really, really busy. And if you guys want to know why I'm so busy, Follow me on Instagram uh, at Cena Dean One. I've been traveling a lot, so <laughs> uh, 
uh, yeah, I'm going to try to travel a little less and spend more time on uh, making these videos and uh, just sharing my thoughts on not just cryptocurrency, but you know, real estate. I'm still buying uh, real estate. In fact, uh, I would like to let everyone know I did make uh, two acquired. I bought two properties this year. Um, so that's another reason too, maybe I haven't been making crypto vid videos, but I, I had been stating in previous videos, I think the market's overpriced, which I still think it's overpriced, but uh, I, I was able to find some good investment partners and I did buy two more properties in Orange County and I'll probably make a video on both those deals later on. But I'm back guys, I'm gonna try to create more content, probably not as often as I used to, just because I am busy with other projects, but leave your comments, let me know what you guys think and I will talk to you guys soon.